But there is a story right now on Yahoo Finance's webpage, yahoofinance.com. Three major risks to your surging stock portfolio in 2021. That's a Brian Sazi story. Emily McCormick is here because Emily's been working on a story about the bull case for stocks in 2021. Fill us in because I think we like to be optimistic. Absolutely, Adam. And just taking a look at what Wall Street firms have been saying about 2021, really, there is an overwhelming wave of optimism heading into next year. I took a look at a dozen 2021 market outlooks from firms, uh, and I compiled those for Yahoo Finance. And I found that every single one of those strategists actually believes that stocks are going to end next year higher than they are right now in their base case assumptions. Now, some are more bullish than others. And the most bullish firm so far is JP Morgan. Now, that has set a price target of 4,400 for the S&P 500 with potential downside to 4,200, but upside to as high as 4,600 by year end next year. Now that base case assumption for JP Morgan, again at 4,400, would imply appreciation of another about 18% from the S&P 500's recent record closing high of a bit over 3,700 from last week. Now for context, the median price target for the S&P 500 is 4,150 among those dozen strategists. And then taking a look at this time last year, JP Morgan did see stocks and the S&P 500 specifically ending 2020 at 3,400, which had been right around the median of analyst uh, expectations at the time. So JP Morgan hasn't always been necessarily the most bullish, but did come out on top this year. Now, JP Morgan's upbeat assessment for next year is really based on a few key assumptions the first being that central banks will continue to tilt towards easy monetary policy. The second being that vaccine distribution will go smoothly. And then third of all, that lawmakers in Washington will face a divided government scenario after we get those Georgia Senate runoffs in the next couple of weeks. So the outcome of that is still, of course, hanging in balance and could be a downside risk here in the near term. But overall, those are the assumptions that J.P. Morgan has and many other strategists, too. At one key quote here from J.P. Morgan really sums up their outlook. They Wrote in a note, quote, the equity market is facing one of the best backdrops for sustained gains in years. After a prolonged period of elevated risks, global trade war, COVID-19 pandemic, U.S. election uncertainty, etc., the outlook is significantly clearing with the business cycle expanding and risks diminishing. Now, they also said that they expect a, quote, market nirvana scenario for equities, mostly in the first half of next year, with perhaps a little bit more subdued gains in the second half, once we get this optimism around the vaccine priced in, and also also, once we start getting some more guidance out from central bank officials, including from the Fed, about forward guidance on where interest rates and perhaps quantitative easing is heading. But overall, again, quite a bit of optimism here on Wall Street, and especially coming from J.P. Morgan, Adam and Julia. Well, you always have to take it with a grain of salt because even the analysts get it wrong, but they keep their jobs and they get to reissue what they said. OK, Emily McCormick, thank you very much.